Now, if you're someone that loves single player games, then today we're going to take a look at all the upcoming single player games that's releasing between 2024 to 2025. Now, starting off with the first game, we got Gears of War 6. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, Gears of War 6 was actually announced to be in production already, and this game has been in development for so many years, and it's expected to be releasing sometime in 2025. Now, if you haven't played Gears of War game before, then I would highly recommend you guys to go ahead and try it you can actually play it with your friends because the entire game is actually a co-op action adventure you can play it with your friends or family or even your girlfriend it would be absolutely fantastic if you try this game out from the first gears of war game all the way to gears of war 5 and if you don't want to buy all the five games you can of course go ahead subscribe to the free game pass and you'll get all the five remastered gears of war edition now moving up to the next one we have gothic one remake now it's an open world action adventure RPG game where this game is basically an entire remake of the first original gothic which was one of the most famous RPG games back in those times and it's finally returning now this game is set to be releasing in 2024 this year it's coming out for PS5 Xbox Series X as well as the PC version now if you are someone that loves single player narrative storylines as well as massive open world which has a lot of things that you can do in the open world then I think gothic one remake is going to be an absolute treat for you and now moving up to the next one we got black myth wukong the chinese monkey king action adventure game which is not an open world game but the game is actually designed more like god of war style which is kind of a semi open world where you fight off different huge monsters and it's basically a game that's set with chinese mythology where you play as the monkey king now we've already got plenty of gameplays and a lot of things the game is constantly getting delays over delays and at this point it's frustrating it's finally said that it's going to be coming out on August 20th of 2024. Now moving up next, we've got Instinction, which actually is a dinosaur single player camping story narrative related game where you can play the entire storyline with your friends in co-op. Now we've already been shown plenty of gameplays. I'm already in love with this game. And if you're someone that loves games like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, now if you're someone that really loves movies like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, then I think Instinction is going to be that dream game game for you guys now this game is said to be releasing in 2024 we don't have an exact release date but all we know is that 2024 is going to be the final launch and now moving on to the next one which is evolved now this is an open world rpg game that's set in a very stylized version of something that we might have already experienced in games like elder scrolls skyrim now evolved is basically a game that is reimagined from skyrim but then it has its own twists and flavors it's kind of very stylized nothing like a semi-realistic kind of a game but then it's a lot of fun you can explore the massive open world you have magic you have a lot of different gigantic behemoth of monsters that you'll hunt down and it's basically skyrim in a much diverse colorful environment now, if you are someone that really is into rpg games and a lot of fantasy stuff then i think evolved is going to be one of your upcoming favorite games of all time as of now the release date for evolved is set to be sometime in q4 of 2024 which is probably somewhere around october to december December this year. Now moving up next we have another dinosaur game but then it's not a story game this is actually an open world survival game. Now this game is called The Lost Wild and if you ask me what Unreal Engine 5.2 can do then this game is definitely going to be able to show you what it can because The Lost Wild has graphics like nothing I've ever seen before when it comes to the vegetations, the open world, the environment itself in the huge thick jungle. It just looks very realistic. Now you're going to be fighting off against some very ferocious dinosaurs, T-Rex, and a lot of realistic stuff. And it's basically a survival game. It's not a story mode. Of course, it is single player. It also has PvP action. So it's both single player as well as multiplayer. It's a survival game, a hardcore one. And it's also a very hardcore survival at its core. Now, The Lost Wild is set to be releasing sometime in late 2024 or even early 2025. There's been a lot of delays for this game in the past and as as of now they finally decided well it could be 2024 or 25 and that's pretty much it now moving up to the next one this game just doesn't need its own introduction because i'm talking about call of duty we have just learned that treyarch is developing this next call of duty game which is called as call of duty black ops gulf war now apparently as they have seen a massive success in how call of duty modern warfare 3 succeeded in terms of how all of these open world missions really worked out and it seems like call of duty black ops gulf 
called for is actually going to be a massive open world and that's where the entire single player camping is going to take place in. Now I don't think there has been any Call of Duty games in the past which actually had an open world. This is going to be the very first time and it's probably going to be a copy paste of what we already know as Warzone most likely because that's what Activision does. But then a lot of people have been hoping for the best because Treyarch is working on it and Treyarch is always known to be the best when it comes to creating Call of Duty games. Now as we know usually Call of Duty games releases sometime about October to November so it's either both of these months so I'm just rooting for it to release in October and November this year as well. Now I don't know if I'm ready for the next Call of Duty or not but I'm really looking forward to seeing how the multiplayer version of this game is going to be set because all the focus about Call of Duty is of course staying on multiplayer versions because lately the camping versions of Call of Duty have not been as good as what we've seen with the old school days. And now moving on to the next game which is a very bizarre game. Now this game is called The Alters. It's basically an open world game that's set in space where you have to survive and you need to build stuff and, and there's also like a narrative storyline. So it's simply a single player story narrative game that's set in space and it's an open world action adventure game. So there isn't really much that has been shared about this game. All they've given us is this very small clip of what gameplay looks like and what this very confusing and bizarre game could turn out to be at the end. Now this game is going to be coming out in 2024. If you ask me for an exact release date, we don't have it yet. All we know is that 2024 is going to be the launch date. And now moving on to the final game, we have Indiana Jones. Now this is something that most of you guys might already be familiar with. Now this is kind of a semi open world maps where it's pretty much a first person shooter game. Sometimes it turns into a third person game. So it's kind of a mixture of both. Now a lot of people are super excited for this game. I myself am very excited for it. I want to really see what the Unreal Engine can actually do with this game. Because especially when I say semi open world, I kind of mean it like it's very similar to what we have seen with Unreal Uncharted 4 The Thieves End. Now that's one of the best games when it comes to storytelling and how the game is basically feeling like an entire movie itself. So you're playing a movie but at the same time there's a lot of interactive stuff which also makes you feel like it's a game not exactly something that's playing like a whole cutscene but that's basically what's happening here. They're trying to do their best in terms of making this game as cinematic as possible. It's a first person game of course which means that there's going to be a lot of gameplay key elements. So Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is going to be releasing on November 2024. Now lads, with that comes an end to all of our upcoming single player games. Now I know some games I might have missed out and usually I try to add in some of the games that I've never covered before. So I'm just trying to pack in all the new games that people might have never heard of because there's really no point in adding on games that you guys might already be familiar with. So I wanted to go ahead and introduce some new games that you guys might have never heard of before. So you guys can get to know what's going on in the gaming community so you can stay updated with all the latest content every single day. Now with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, then leave a like. And if you guys have more suggestion for upcoming top 10 videos, then make sure to go ahead and leave your recommendation on what games should be added on the top 10 list on my upcoming videos. I would love to read your comments, reply to as many of you guys as I possibly can. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy fams and goodbye.